on this channel already. Now these little kids need to show sh they actually need to So today I'm going to show you guys how I did my goddess faux locks. Now I actually wasn't going to do a tutorial on these because I already have two faux lock tutorials on this channel already and I also have a tips on how to maintain and take care of your faux locks so I will link all those videos in the description bar below. However every time that I do do faux locks I do try to do like a different method and see how it goes. The main aim of goddess faux locks is to make your faux locks look as natural as possible and you also have some hair left at the bottom so you don't wrap the whole hair that you actually braided with. Now even with this particular faux lock style I've seen different variations of it and when I did it on myself my main aim was to make it look as natural as possible from the actual locking part and the hair at the bottom and I've seen different people use human hair and use kind of synthetic naturally curly hair but what I actually use is to wrap the hair I use my trusted soft and silky um, afro natural hair this is the hair that I always use when I do faux locks I think it's really good either this or there's another one that I will link in the description bar below that's also good if you want your faux locks to look natural and for the hair at the bottom that's actually curly I actually use our good old friend expression so what I did is I braided my hair with expression and then I wrapped around with the soft and silky afro pinky natural and then when it came to the ends I wanted different types of curls at the end so for some of them I just dipped the ends in water and for others I actually curled them using some foam curlers and I'm going to show you that method today whenever I do hair tutorials I kind of get the same questions again and again so I'm going to list the most common questions asked in the description bar below such as what hair did I use how long it took me um, my method anything else that I think you you guys would be interested to know so please make sure you check out your description bar and if your question isn't answered there then feel free to leave me a comment and I'll reply back to you there as well so this is what my hair looks like if I put them all to the front all together it took me about I think maybe six hours to do these when I'm doing my own hair I'm really really slow sometimes or I'm really really fast there's like no intermediate as you can see here some are more curly than the others that's because for some I just dip them in the hot water and for others I put them in the foam curlers before I dip them in the hot water and in terms of length they just fall just over my bum so this is what they look like close up and this is what the bottom looks like this side is a lot more curly than the other side of my hair so this is the other side of my hair as you can see you can see some bits that are a bit straighter than and a bit more wavier I just really wanted variation when it came to the bottom of my hair and I also wanted to have variation in the locks that I had as well so what you'll see is that my locks are kind of different sizes and I also wrapped them in different ways so some are wrapped really tightly like for instance this one is kind of wrapped tightly and if I find another one well this one here is wrapped a bit looser so I have this piece right here that has literally been waiting for me to do this tutorial for like the past two weeks I was meant to do this tutorial as soon as I did my hair but life gets in the way sometimes so I'm just gonna detangle that strand of hair So I've detangled that strand of hair and as always whenever I'm doing faux locks on myself or on my clients I always like to moisturize each hair strand before I actually do it just because the hair can be quite rough well in this instance the expression hair is not quite rough but the hair that we're wrapping with is which is the afro kinky hair and I'm using the Vatika Naturals Nourish and Protect Styling Hair Cream which looks like this I'll also put it in the description bar below so to achieve my desired length I cut my expression into three parts and I threaded not threaded I am um, what's the word I feathered yes that's the word I feathered each section and this is a bit that I've just feathered let me know if you guys would like a video on how to um, feather hair because I think feathering your hair is really important especially if you're doing like braids and Senegalese twists over the time as I've been doing people's hair I actually don't dip my braids or my Senegalese twist into water anymore and it's all about how you thread the hair if you thread the hair really well you'll have no need to dip it into water unless you want that kind of wavy look at the end then by all means you know dip it into water so I take about this much of the expression hair and what you want to do is just braid your hair as you would if you were doing a normal braid
Now this bit does not have to be neat at all. I will not be twisting um, regular twists like this. I'm just trying to do it really quickly because you're going to wrap the hair anyway. And then you have this which is like kind of a bit of an extension of your own hair. And then you just want to take your Afro kinky hair and just, as I normally do, just feather it out a bit. This is well it doesn't have to be neat. You're just kind of pulling at it so that it's not really clumped together when you're wrapping. So after you're done feathering your kinky hair, what you want to do is take a small bit and just attach it to the top. And the method is literally very similar to how I always do my faux locks. The only difference is, like I said, with some of them I wrapped really tightly. And if you want to see how I wrap tightly, then just direct yourself to my first faux lock tutorial, which I will put up there. But for this one, I'm going to wrap it loosely because that is what I want you guys to see. Because that's the main difference with this hair. Also, another thing, whenever I do faux locks, I try to not grip the hair at the root too hard. Just because it's a large amount of hair on your hair strands. And I sympathise with people when I see their faux locks and their edges are so tight it's not good for your hair too much tension on your hair is not good at all you want your protective style to be just that you want it to protect your hair you don't want it to damage or cause you to have any hair fallout so I try not to grip too hard at the root of the hair however I substitute that by wrapping tightly so it's the same concept you take your I always forget what the name of this finger is I think it's your index finger your index finger is at the top and your thumb is underneath and you're literally just wrapping in between your index finger and your thumb those are the two main fingers that you're using so you literally just wrap around close it with your index finger then wrap around again and close it with your thumb and that's literally it now in terms of how to wrap a bit looser you're doing the same thing but what you're actually doing is before in my last faux lock tutorial I said if you wrap it tightly enough and you leave it your hair should not do that because if you wrap it tight enough your hair should hold even without you adding any glue or even burning it because I want it to be a bit looser I'm not wrapping as tightly I'm not really tugging at the hair and I'm not pulling up either I'm literally just going and I'm just just really doing it very lightly now you don't want to do it too light because you don't want your hair to unravel but it's literally just going a bit light on the hand and not having as much tension and also when you leave it your hair should do that whereas if I was wrapping tightly my hair would do this if you've wrapped it tightly enough if I let it go this should happen it should still be nothing is unraveling like it is actually fine and I haven't even burnt it or anything and that's literally the major difference between me doing my goddess faux locks and doing kind of normal kind of neat um, faux locks so I'm just gonna keep on wrapping really kind of loosely until I get to the bottom of my hair also if you're wrapping and you see that you kind of get spaces like this where you haven't wrapped properly that's fine as well because what I'm gonna do after I actually finish wrapping is because it's not wrapped tightly I can actually feather the hair a bit more and move it around and then you can just secure it by burning it a bit or by just adding some glue on there as well and then when I have this kind of tiny bit of hair left what I actually do is I start wrapping up now I know some people just keep on wrapping until the end of the hair but what I find is when I did it that way because I'm wrapping looser my hair actually started to unwrap and kind of just fall off so wrapping that tiny bit back up will actually make sure that the end is really secure so your end is secure and your top is secure so you won't have any unraveling however the middle section will be loose and that is what will give you that kind of natural look but not having your follow kind of unraveling and just looking a hot mess and all over the place so once you've wrapped until the bottom what you want to do is just secure it by burning it just really lightly and also adding some nail glue because the expression is a bit slippery what I also found is even though the ends of my hair were tightly wrapped sometimes it would slip up and down and the nail glue just kind of bonds the Marley hair with the expression hair so that you have no movement and everything is really secure as natural as we want it to look we don't want our faux locks to be unraveling there's a difference between your faux locks looking natural and your faux locks looking like they haven't been done properly and then I just do this so I untwist in the opposite direction that I've wrapped and this again just helps with it looking natural and then I just burn a bit at the top as well just for some security 
and this is the end result as you guys can see I haven't wrapped very tightly and what will actually happen over time is that the hair will start to mat together which is what the Marley hair naturally does and this will aid in it looking even more natural and looking like kind of real dreadlocks and that is my hair now as you can see I have this at the bottom so I actually have some pieces like this one that I haven't curled and I'm gonna show you the difference between dipping it in water and kind of curling it with my sponge curl. So you just want to get any old colour that you have and I'm going to actually unplug the bottom bit. You literally just wrap it around and then you just want to dip it in a cup full of boiling water. I'm also going to add these three hairs into the boiling water. These are not curled, they're just straight. Just show you guys the different variations of curls that I have at the bottom of my hair. And with this, what you want to do is swirl the hair around the towel and dab it. And this will give it like a soft curl when you're finished. So these are the hairs that I did not curl, but I just dipped them in water. As you can see, they kind of have like a very kind of soft, crooked wave to them. But that is what I wanted. I wanted different variations. And for the one that I have curled, if I take it out, it gives me a more ringlet type curl. But I wanted them to look very varied. So as you can see from the bottom here, none of my curls aren't the same. They're very varied. Some are super curly while others are not and that's what I wanted. And that is it guys, that is literally how I did my goddess faux locks. Now my inspiration for these faux locks was Megan Good and it was one of the pictures that I actually saw of her and I think I managed to do it quite well. If you guys do try to do this style, please tag me in any pictures on Instagram or Twitter so I can see. I hope this was helpful and if you'd like me to do your faux locks, your goddess faux locks, braids or Marley hair, then please feel free to check out my hair page on Instagram which is beautifully crowned and for any appointment bookings, please email beautifullycrowned at gmail.com also make sure you follow my own personal Instagram page as well <laughs> have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night or whatever time you're watching this video and I'll see you all in my next video